Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys may use 24-year-old as trade bait, insider. The Dallas Cowboys may have some players that could entice other NFL teams to make a trade. ESPN's Todd Archer believes that second-year defender Viliami Fihoko Jr. could be traded after having a disappointing rookie season. The Cowboys insider has Fihoko as the final defensive lineman making the roster along with the following eight players, Demarcus Lawrence, OSA Odegizawa, Motsi Smith, Micah Parsons, Sam Williams, Marshawn Neeland, Chauncey Galston, and Carl Davis. After a disappointing rookie season, Motsi, Smith has to deliver, but the Cowboys could still look for veteran defensive tackle help, which is why Davis gets the last spot, for now, Archer wrote in a July 23, 2024, story titled, 2024 Dallas Cowboys 53-Man Roster Projection. Fihoko, a fourth-round pick last year, could be trade bait and will have to impress early after not playing as a rookie. Fihoko was selected in the fourth round of the 2023 NFL Draft with the number 129 overall pick. The pass rusher did not take a snap during his rookie season as Fihoko battled injuries. The 24-year-old will be fighting for a roster spot in training camp. Fihoko inked a four-year, $4.5 million contract in 2023. There would be minimal cap savings made by Dallas releasing Fihoko as the franchise would take a $518,00 dead cap hit as part of his $915,000 salary for 2024, per spa track. Given Fihoko is a former fourth-round pick, it is hard to imagine that the defender would generate much value in the trade market. Fihoko's value is also limited given the pass rusher did not play last season. Dallas could look to land a future late-round draft pick, but even this idea may be challenging. The defender shined during his five collegiate seasons at San Jose State. Fihoko posted 41 tackles, 19 tackles for loss and 9 sacks in 12 appearances in 2022. Here's how NFL.com's Lance Zierlein described Fihoko's pro outlook heading into the 2023 draft. Fihoko's body type will require teams to decide whether they want him to play base end in a 4-3 defense or ask him to add weight so they can use him as a hybrid end slash tackle in a 3-4, Zierlein detailed in his pre-draft profile. He plays with a nose for the football and a chippy attitude. He's been productive in both phases over the last two seasons, but we will see if that translates against better competition. While he's not as anchor-based as teams might like due to his lack of leverage, he has a nasty spin counter that could be effective as a sub-package rusher. He's strong, tough and active with the talent to become an NFL backup. Dallas faces questions on the defensive line beyond who will make the 53-man roster. One of the biggest question marks remains how impactful the current group of defensive tackles will be in 2024. The departure of Jonathan Hankins means there is a lot of pressure on second-year defensive tackle Motsi Smith. Like Fihoko, Smith did not have the strongest rookie campaign. Smith earned a disappointing 49.9 grade, out of 100, from Pro Football Focus for his play in 2023. If there is a position for the Cowboys to target in a trade, adding a defensive tackle makes a lot of sense and would ease some of the pressure on Smith. C.D. Lamb, Dallas Cowboys have worked on new deal amid holdout. Dallas Cowboys star C.D. Lamb is officially a training camp holdout, he and the team reportedly have worked on a new deal. Dallas Cowboys star wide receiver C.D. Lamb is officially a camp holdout. For the past month, it has been expected that Lamb would not report to camp without a new contract and reports on Tuesday morning indicated he was planning to be a holdout as the team charter was being loaded up for Oxnard, and now it is confirmed. Despite the unfortunate development, there is still a glimmer of good news for the Cowboys faithful. Lamb and the team have worked on a deal, and there is hope that an agreement can be reached. Lamb's holdout could be very costly, with every mixed practice resulting in a fine up to $40,000. Last season, Lamb had the best year of his professional career. 
he led the NFL in receptions with 135 while racking up 1,749 yards and 12 touchdowns. Lamb, who added two rushing touchdowns, earned first-team All-Pro honors and was named to the third Pro Bowl of his career. The team's first training camp practice is Thursday, July 25. Let's hope a deal can be struck by then to get Lamb back onto the field as soon as possible. Cowboys bring in blazing fast LB amid interest from multiple teams. The Dallas Cowboys could have their eye on a new linebacker. As reported by Aaron Wilson of KPRC2 Houston, the Cowboys worked out linebacker Noah Dawkins on Monday, July 22. Dawkins previously went undrafted in 2019, but has spent time on NFL rosters and has played on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and New York Jets. He most recently played for the Michigan Panthers in the UFL during the spring. Wilson notes that Dawkins is generating interest from multiple teams, including the Chicago Bears. Cowboys and Bears have worked out at USFL Panthers linebacker Noah Dawkins, per a league source, and has interest from multiple hashtag NFL teams Dawkins, 6-1, 235, has previously played for Bengals, Buccaneers, Jets, Bears, Citadel Football, writes Wilson. It is actually the second time since minicamp that the Cowboys have taken a look at Dawkins. They previously worked him out, along with UFL cornerbacks Garyon Conley and DeAndre Baker, in June. The Cowboys actually ended up signing Conley shortly after that workout. The six-foot-one Dawkins impressed during his pro-day workout before the 2019 NFL draft, posting a 4.4140 yard dash time. Despite pulling his hamstring during that workout, he still managed to run at that speed. That's not even mentioning how Dawkins actually ran a 4.3740 yard dash before his pro day workout. Had Dawkins participated in the NFL Combine, the latter mark would have been the fastest of any linebacker in Combine history. The 26 year old Dawkins appeared in 10 games with the Buccaneers during his rookie season in 2019, seeing 65% of the special team snaps. He played the same role for the Jets when he played in seven games during the 2020 and 2021 seasons, appearing in 83 special team snaps in those appearances. During the 2024 season with the Panthers, Dawkins posted 34 tackles in eight games. If the Cowboys do sign Dawkins, it'll likely be in time for the start of training camp. Dallas will hold their first practice on Thursday, July 25th. As the Cowboys prepare to begin training camp, they'll have the topic of two looming contract extensions hovering over them. Both of Dallas' top players, quarterback Dak Prescott and wide receiver C.D. Lamb, are seeking contract extension. Both franchise players are entering the final years of their deals, with Lamb due to hold out during training camp, as he did during minicamp, without a deal in place. While Prescott will not use such a negotiating tactic, he will be present at training camp, the Cowboys face the very realistic possibility this could be his last camp as a member of the franchise if they don't get a deal done soon. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, the Cowboys want a contract in place for Prescott before he hits free agency next spring. However, the longer they wait, the more likely it becomes Prescott's new deal becomes a record-setting contract. Here's a little bit of a wrinkle, Fowler said on Sunday, July 21. You still have Tuatago Viloa in Miami who needs to get a deal done. You still have Jordan Love in Green Bay who needs to get a deal done. Dak Prescott has the most leverage of those three, so he very well could be waiting for those two to go first and then he bats clean up with a huge deal that could be a market resetter. The longer the Cowboys wait to get a deal done with Prescott, the more they'll have to pony up in cash. That's not necessarily a good idea considering the quarterback market next free agency will be thin if Jordan Love and Tua Tagovailoa re-sign with their respective teams. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Noah Dawkins? Leave your opinion in the comments.